Hello everyone, my name is Min Ho Huang. In this video, we are going to present our paper about efficiently calibrating cable-driven surgical robots with RGBD fiducial sensing and recurrent neural network. This work is published in Robotics and Automation Letters. Robotic surgical assistants, such as DaVinci Robot, are widely used in hospitals and surgical procedures using teleoperation. Although surgical robotics has a long history, no procedures are fully autonomous due to uncertainty in perception and control. In non-clinical research setting, several research groups have explored automating surgical robotics. Key applications include cutting goals, debridement, and surgical suturing. Cable-driven robots has imprecision from cabling effect, such as cable stretching or hysteresis. To compensate these errors, Several researchers have studied calibration methods, including two-phase calibration and data-driven precision estimator. We build upon these pioneering work to achieve a more efficient and autonomous calibration method. For our method, we select a ZVD1 Plus depth camera. Depth sensing has been increasingly available with its high visual perceptual capability, including accurate 3D object detection using the dense point clouds. With this merit, it has a possible application to open surgery robot, such as Taurus from the SRI. The proposed method uses the combinations of depth sensing, 3D printable fiducials, and recurrent neural network. From this method, we could get accurate measurement of robot state, identify the source of error, and attain high success rate of packet transfer using online correction of the joint errors. We print six fiducial spheres and strategically attach two spheres on the pole shaft and four spheres on the jaw. We obtain 3D position of the spheres by masking depth and color in the point cloud. Then we could estimate six joint angles based on the DVRK kinematics. The accuracy of the measurement as a result 0.32 mm in spear detection and 0.6 degree in joint angle estimation. During error identification process, we compared the commanded configuration with the measured. We found out that the last three joints are the main source of error since they are highly coupled with hysteresis. As shown in the video, we collect 2000 data pairs which consisting of the commanded and measured joint configuration. Given the data, we trained 13 different models based on its architecture, input, and output format. We used the long short-term memory to capture the cabling effect from the history of the robot motion. We evaluate these models on the online fiducial free state estimation. As shown in the table below, the best model reduced the mean tracking error of the physical robot from 2.96 mm to 0.65 mm. Finally, we evaluate the performance of the best model using surgical packet transfer, which is one of the standard tasks in the fundamentals of laparoscopic surgery. We define one episode of the task to be the full procedure where the robot moves the six blocks from the left to the right and then transfer them back. As a result of 20 full completion of the task, the robot achieved a success rate from 39.4% without calibration to 96.7% with calibration, which is comparable to the performance by the human expert surgeon. The speed of the transfer, however, it is still twice slower than human operator. As a conclusion, we explored the potential for depth sensing. We demonstrate how using a depth camera and a calibration can be used in automating the potential surgical task. We trained a model using a history of a robot motion to capture the cabling effect, and the best model attained positioning accuracy up to 0.65 mm and achieved a success rate of 96.7%, which is comparable to the human expert. In future work, we will focus on failure recovery, handovers, visual surveying, and trajectory optimization. Please check out the project website for additional information. Thank you for watching.